Welcome to the video. In this video we're going to add a little buzzer onto our KISS flight controller. Now these little buzzers here, the some very simple ones that have two pins on, and when you apply 5 volts across the two pins it makes a buzzing noise and this is the kind of buzzer that you want. Now the way it works is on the front of them you tend to find there's a little sticker like this that shows which is the positive terminal which is the negative one. On these the positive terminal is also a little bit longer. You can get them in packs of four or five from eBay and your local electronic shop and they're really really cheap. I think this was less than a couple of quid for five of them. In fact I think it was less than about £1.50 for five of them so I'm going to be fine for buzzers for a little while. Now why would we add a buzzer? Well there's a couple of reasons really. We can actually turn the buzzer on and off and that allows us to do things like have a lost model alarm so if the thing that we're going to add it to comes down in long grass and we can't find it we can make it make a noise or if it's stuck in a tree we can figure out which tree we've got to climb to pull it out or secondly it can be an audible alarm for when things are arming. So what we've done is we've actually printed this little bracket here we designed this and these buzzers that we were just looking at are a press fit. I've then soldered a couple of wires here on the bottom a red one for positive and a blue one because I didn't have a black one for the negative ground and then we just need to connect them to the bottom of the board. Now to connect this it's all covered in the actual manual itself and the two pads on the bottom of the KISS flight controller. There's a plus 5 volt and also a buzzer ground and we're going to connect it up just as we can see in this video. So there is a, just a little bit of soldering on those couple of pads and then you are ready to go. You just need to set the buzzer up in the interface. So let's very quickly stop the video there and I'll do a little bit of soldering. We'll come back and we'll have a look at what it looks like when it's all connected. So the buzzer is installed, we've now connected it to the bottom of the board using those solder connections just like in the manual and then what we've done is connected the holder to the side of the board and that is going to keep the buzzer out of the way. Now we need to be a little bit careful when you sight the buzzer, you want it as far away from the other electronics as possible. When the buzzer sounds it does make an, not only a lot of noise but a lot of interference too. So typically on craft that have things like GPS's and compasses and stuff then you have to be super careful. There's none of that on here, the KISS flight controller is all about just providing a really great flying experience. So now the machine's back together, what next thing we need to do then is connect it up to the PC. We need to go into the graphical user interface and here on the right hand side we can select what auxiliary 2 does and we're going to select it so that when it goes high it is going to sound the buzzer. So I now have that set up on my radio so I have a switch that controls auxiliary 2 so when I flick that switch I should be able to hear the buzzer sound. So let's plug it all in and test it works. So let's power everything up first. Radio's powered on. There we go, let's power this up. Now I'm going to flick the switch on the radio that's going to set auxiliary 2 as high. And there is the noise. And if we arm the board, the buzzer's not sounding. So it's only sounding in this version of the firmware when you flick the switch on the radio. So that is the trick. It's relatively straightforward, very easy, just to get yourself some cheap and cheerful pizza electric buzzers. You want the ones that have just two connectors on, a couple of soldered connections to the bottom of the board, and that's set up in the graphical user interface, and it's all done. And next time it comes down in some long grass, or in a hedge or something, and you're not sure exactly where it is, you can make a sound and go and find it. Thank you for taking the time to watch that video. There are lots of other videos on the channel and they're carefully ordered into playlists. So you may find that there are other videos on this same subject that you can go and watch. So I would recommend going into the playlist area of Painless360 YouTube channel and looking around and seeing what there is. You never know what you might find. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and happy flying.